Hello and welcome to Within Yoga. I'm Joa, and today we'll do a strong flow. We'll start relatively gentle, opening the hips, preparing the body, and then we'll take it up into a quite fluid and strong practice. We'll begin in our child's pose. Take a moment here. To come back to this space, to come back to this moment. Start to connect with your breath. And prepare to connect with your body. On the next inhale, come to your tabletop position. We'll begin with some cat and cows. Deep breathing, open up, shoulders back, look gently up. Exhale, round the spine, look to the belly. Exaggerate the movements, inhale, open the chest. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Two more, inhale. Exhale. One more time, deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly send the right leg out to the side. Walk the hands forward. Let's work on our puppy pose with a bit of hip opening at the same time. Tuck the tailbone round the spine into a hollow body position. Exhale, drop the chest down. Inhale, tag the tailbone. Exhale, drop the chest. Inhale, lift the chest, look to the belly. Exhale, drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop. Hold at the bottom. If you want to go deeper, come onto the fingertips. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly come back to your tabletop position. Bring the right knee back to its place. Switch legs, left leg goes out. Find your space, walk the hands forward. Inhale, tag the tailbone. Exhale, drop down. Inhale, lift, look to the belly. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come down. One more, inhale, lift. Look to the belly. Exhale, down. Hold at the bottom. If you need to, if you want to go deeper, come to the fingertips. Or you can also grab some blocks and place the hands on top of the blocks. Good, slowly when you're ready, come back to the center, send the left knee in, move the hips, release the tension. Good. Slowly extend the right leg back, deep breath in. Exhale, foot outside of the right hand. Walk the hands forward, lift the back knee off the floor, drop the chest down into a deep lizard. Engaging through the left glute. Engaging through the left leg. On the next inhale, walk the hands parallel to the right foot. 
exhale, drop the left heel down, toes facing to your left, maybe right hand to the floor, left arm up, if you can, right elbow to the floor, left arm up. Engaging through both legs, keep your foundation strong. Inhale deep, exhale, drop the left hand down, drop the left knee down, reach the right arm up, inhale, exhale, bring the hand back. Option to stay, option to bend the back leg, reaching with the right hand, the left foot, twist, send the leg farther back to help you twist even more. Slowly release both hands to the floor, deep breath in. Exhale, extend the leg. Try walk the hands forward, try to drop the chest down. If you can, hands behind the ears, make it active. Deep breaths. Three, two, one, inhale deep. Exhale, bend the right knee, lift the back knee off the ground into a very low high lunge, hands on top of the right knee, try drop the hips down. Good, if you prefer, hands behind the ears. For three, two, and one, great. Slowly drop the left knee down, hands in front of you, walk the right foot to the left, drop the knee down, come into an active pigeon, hands on the floor, chest open, option to stay here, option to bend the back leg and reach the back foot with one hand, maybe with both hands, your choice. Open the chest, Drop the hips down. Slowly release, send the hands to the floor. Step back to your plank. Exhale, drop the knees down, tabletop position. We switch to the other side, extend the left leg, inhale. Exhale, foot outside of the left hand. Walk the hands forward. Lift the back knee. Drop the chest down. Slowly walk the hands parallel to the left foot. Ground through the right heel, toes facing out to the right. Maybe left hand down, maybe left elbow down, right arm up. Keep the right leg extended, keep the right shoulder opening. Slowly look down, send the right hand to the floor. Send the right knee to the floor, left arm reaches up and back. Maybe bend through the right knee, try to reach with the left hand, the right foot. Send the foot back and down, open the left shoulder. Good, slowly look down, release, send the hands to the floor, deep breath in, exhale, extend your left leg. Maybe stay, maybe send the hands behind the ears to activate through the form, opening the chest, sending the chest forward, flexing the left foot.
slowly inhale, come up. Exhale, bend the left knee. Maybe hands on top of the left knee. Maybe hands behind the ears. Try to lift the back knee off the ground. Deep breaths. Right glute strong. Good, slowly send the hands to the floor, walk the left foot to the right, come down into your pigeon, try to keep the pigeon active, send the hands back, open the chest, option to stay, option to bend the right leg, trying to reach with the left hand, the foot, maybe with both hands, we breathe. Pressing the right foot back. Slowly release. Send the hands to the floor. Step back to your plank. And lower down Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Look forward, bend the knees. Walk until your feet reach between the hands. Flat back, inhale, look forward. Exhale, fall deeply, interlock the fingers behind you, extend the arms, try to send the hands back and down. Hips high. Send the weight forward, so you need to activate the toes to help you balance here. Last deep breath in. Exhale. Slowly bend your knees. Release the arms and start coming up vertebra by vertebra. Bring the hands in front of the chest. Close your eyes for a moment. Breathe. We're going to start being more dynamic from now. We'll start building up into stronger transitions, stronger positions. So prepare mentally. And if you need to rest at any time or modificate, that's completely fine. Slowly open your eyes, deep breath in, reach the arms up. Slightly back into a gentle back bend. Exhale, go forward, forward, and down. Option to stay in the forward fold. Option to press into your handstand. Slowly, left leg back, right foot between the hands. Reach the arms up, inhale. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind you. Open the chest. Exhale, try send the hands down to the floor. Breathe. Good, slowly inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back. Plank, place the knees, chest, chin or forehead to the floor. Roll the spine vertebra by vertebra, otherwise slide into your cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale deep, send the left leg up and back. Exhale, foot forward, right knee down. Reach the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, interlace fingers behind you. 
open up. Next, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back to your plank. Place the knees, chest, chin or forehead to the floor. Roll or slide into your cobra. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, bend the knees. Slowly walk feet between the hands. Deep breath in, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms high. Look to the fingers. Exhale, hands to heart center. Again, deep breath in, reach the arms up. Slightly back. Exhale forward, forward and down. Option to stay for a moment in your forward fold. Option to move upside down if you prefer, if you have it on your practice. Slowly left foot between the hands, right foot back. Reach the arms up. Elevate the shoulders, interlock the fingers, reach the arms high, hands back. Push the hips forward. Next inhale, arms high, exhale, hands back, down on the floor, step back to your plank. Place knees, chest, Chin or forehead down, roll or slide, cobra pose. Exhale, down dog. Send the right leg up, deep breath in. Exhale, foot between the hands, left knee down. Reach the arms high, inhale. Interlace the fingers, make a pistol with your hands. Elevate the shoulders, exhale deep and onto the back bend. Next inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back to your plank. Place the knees, chest, chin or forehead down. Roll or slide. Cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe. Slowly look forward, bend the knees. Walk until your feet reach between the hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to hand center. One last time, deep breath in, arms up. Slightly back, try to work a little deeper in your back bend here. Exhale, forward fold. Option to stay for a moment in your forward fold. Option to move into your inversion, if you have it. Arm balance would also work. We breathe. Slowly, either step both feet back or jump, maybe float back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, send the right leg up. Exhale, foot between the hands, left knee down. Reach the arms up. Inhale, 
open the chest. Option to stay here. If you want to go a bit deeper, start sending the right toe slightly in, heel slightly out on the right foot, and then try to push through the right leg to extend the leg. Breathe. Deep breath in, arms up. Exhale, hands down, step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, send the left leg up. Exhale, foot between the hands, right knee down. Same thing, reach the arms high. Maybe we stay in the back bend. Maybe we send the left toes in, the left heel out a little bit, and we start pushing through the left leg, opening up. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hands down. Step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slow and long breaths. Focus on calming down your heartbeat, coming back to neutral. Slowly take a deep breath in, send the right leg up and back. Exhale, foot between the hands, reach the arms up, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Deep breath in here, extend through the right leg. Exhale, lean onto the right triangle pose. Open through the left shoulder, strong legs, grounding through the feet. Lengthen through both sides of the body. Look down to the floor, bend through the right knee. Try to bind behind. If you don't reach the bind, that's okay. Come back with the right hand onto the floor and then slowly try to extend through the right leg, bind the triangle, or we move back into our regular triangle again. Try to look up. Slowly look down to the floor, bend the right knee, start leaning onto the right foot, Maybe step the left foot forward, maybe slide. Maybe lift the left foot for a moment. Maybe lift it higher, maybe half moon pose with one hand down if you need to. Release the hands. Bring the hands onto the floor. Look forward, inhale, exhale, option one. Standing splits, option two, handstand. Slowly, right foot drops if you're upside down. Inhale, exhale, left foot drops. Reach the arms up. Warrior two, extend the right leg, switch. Bend the left knee into your warrior two. Open up, deep breath in. Extend the left leg, exhale, lean, triangle pose. Slow breaths here. Look 
down to the floor, bend the left knee. Option to keep the left hand down, right arm up. Otherwise, work on your bind. Open the right shoulder and then try extend the left leg. Look up. Slowly look down, bend the left knee, try to step or slide the right foot forward, maybe try to lift the foot slightly, maybe try to lift it higher, breathe. Otherwise, any other variation of half moon would work. Release the hands, hands to the floor. Option to work in your standing splits, option to move upside down. Slowly drop the left foot, inhale, exhale, right foot drops, inhale, Warrior two, extend the left leg, both toes facing forward, slightly in, heels slightly out, hands to the hips, inhale, open the chest, exhale, fold, hands to the floor, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold deeply. If you want to go deeper here, maybe walk the hands farther back, sending the chin towards the chest, sending the hips forward to deepen the form, to find a bit more opening on the hamstrings. Slowly inhale, come halfway up, look forward, exhale, bend the left knee, try to drop the hips as much as possible, turn the right toes facing up, so we externally rotate the right leg, right hand onto the left ankle, right elbow down. Maybe left hand pushes onto the left knee to twist, maybe left arm up. Inhale deep, come back to the center. Exhale, switch. Take your time to deepen into the form. There is no need to go there straight away. You can start a bit higher and try to drop the hips progressively. Next inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, heels in, toes out. Send the hands on the inside of the knees. Push them out. Try to send your glutes back, anterior tilt on the pelvis, shoulders back, chest open. Good, inhale deep, exhale, turn the right arm so the elbow faces down, left elbow faces up, twist, look over to the ceiling or to the left shoulder. Slowly inhale, come to center. Exhale, switch, go to the other side. Good. 
Good. Slowly inhale, come to center. Exhale. Bring the hands to the floor. Separate the feet about the width of the mat. We're going to try to work on activation. First, we open. Okay, toes slightly out, heels slightly in. Send the hands back so they are parallel to the hips. Feel free to use blocks if you need to, if you don't reach so low. Try not to drop onto the floor if you have the flexibility to go there. Instead, go somewhere in between. Okay? Maybe hands on the floor if you can. Send the hands to the hips. If that's okay, hands maybe behind the ears. Send the glutes back anterior till the pelvis. Keep opening the chest. We breathe. Slow breath here. Engage. Last deep inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Turn towards the back of your mat. In my case, is left leg forward, right leg back. Open the chest, inhale. Exhale, either go into a deep half splits, or if you have your full splits and you want to go there straight away, feel free to go there. But we take it gentle for this first round. Good, now we're gonna activate our splits. Take a deep breath in, flexing through the back foot. Maybe hands on blocks, maybe hands without grabbing anything. Try to lift the back knee off the floor, engage the glutes and balance. Slow breaths for three, two, one. Slowly move once more into your splits or to your half splits, somewhere that feels comfortable for you today. Very good. When you're ready, inhale deep, flex the back foot, turn around, facing now the front of the mat, which for me is the right foot. Deep breath in. Exhale, go into either a deep half splits or a full splits, but try to take it gentle for this first round, just to open up a bit. Great. Slowly walk the hands back, deep breath in. Option to use blocks again if you need to, maybe without blocks. Try work on lifting the back knee off the ground. Breathe, try to balance. Good. For three, two, and one. Drop down, either again into your half splits or try to go deeper towards your splits, deep breaths, chest open. Good, slowly when you're ready, send the hands forward, flex the back foot, lift the back knee, right hand inside the right leg and slide the right leg back to your plank, lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward between the hands, bend the knees, send the knees right behind the wrists. So we want the knees about hips distance apart. We're going to start working into some back bends. Option here to have the hands on the hips. That's completely fine. You can also try to reach the heels. Feet may be flexed or pointed when you reach. First, we'll do one full round of 
camel, regardless which variation you've got. Open the chest, hips forward, glutes engaged. If you're reaching, press the hands onto the heels, lift the chest higher, push the hips farther. Slowly inhale, come back, exhale, release, relax. In your Vajrasana and your Thunderbolt, take a breath. Feel free to keep your eyes closed to go within yourself and observe how's the body feeling right now. Try to bring your heartbeat back to neutral. We're gonna go in again, slowly lift the hips. We're gonna try to activate our camel, send the hands to the heart center, open the chest, roll the shoulders back. Try to send the hips forward. Option to stay here, maybe try to extend the arms back. Reach without bending the knees more than that. Just find length through the chest, through the shoulders. Next inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sit down on the heels, relax. We're gonna now try to move into our last backbend, we have many options. We can go back into camel. We may want to lay down and come up into our wheel. That's an option. We may want to drop back from camel, if we know how to. We may want to drop up down from standing, if we know how to. I'm gonna guide the standing drop back. But again, if you're not feeling very comfortable yet, maybe try something that feels good, that feels comfortable. There's no rush to go into deep transitions or strong, stronger transitions. If you want to draw back from standing, same as from, from camel, you flex the feet and you reach back the same way you would do from standing. For standing, we first reach back into our squat and we lift up into our standing position. We make sure feet are about hips distance apart. We focus First, on the arch of the spine, opening through the thoracic, creating space, then slowly sending the hands between the hands, uh, the hands to the heart center. We start sending the hips forward and we keep opening through the chest, sending it up, sending the hips farther, feeling the weight on the toes, looking back towards the back of the mat, maybe extending the arms when we feel ready and slowly bending the knees, counterbalancing by sending the hips farther so we don't draw back without control. We want to draw back slowly. Opening up. Slowly, when you're ready, come back. If you come from your standing drop back, we come back to standing, we drop into our squat. If we come from our kneeling drop back, we come back into squat as well, and then slowly drop the sitting bones, hands by the ankles, and slowly roll down, vertebra by vertebra. Squeeze the knees to the chest, Move gently side to side. Extend your left leg forward, inhale. And exhale, twist.
slowly inhale, come to center. Exhale, switch, twist to the other side. Slowly come back to center. Squeeze the knees to the chest. Maybe reach the outer edges of the feet into your happy baby. Or if you want to go a bit more extreme, send the hands onto the inside of the feet, grabbing the heels with the hands. And then try to extend through the legs, sending the toes down towards the floor into a more of an extreme baby. And then try to send the sitting bones low towards the floor. When you're ready, with control, allow the legs to drop, separating the feet from one another, separating the arms, closing your eyes. Take a moment here. to come back to yourself, to come back to this moment. Notice your body grounded on the floor. Notice your body completely relaxed. Really start moving your fingers, your toes, hands, feet, neck. Stretch completely, maintaining your eyes closed. Slowly bend the knees, squeeze the knees to the chest cross the legs and start rocking back and forth until you sit down on the floor. Keep the spine long. Keep the breath relaxed. And observe. How's the body feeling? How's the mind? How's the breath? If you have any pleasant sensation coming in, try to keep that feeling with you. And give thanks to yourself for showing up today, for being able to practice, to explore, to learn, to grow. Slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice today. If you enjoyed the session, like, subscribe, and share, as this really helps us to grow the channel, to share this message with more people. And if you enjoy what we do here on YouTube and you want more, we have an online platform where we do longer classes, but we also do live sessions where we get to interact with you, to give you tips, to help you further in your practice. Again, thank you so much and see you on the next one. Namaste.